episode of Eco Brap Racing. Uh, today we've got a great episode for you because we're going to do things a little bit differently. Today we've got about 52 cars signed up to race with us, so I couldn't pass up the opportunity. We're going to qualify for today's race. You know, I'll give myself two or three laps to try something, um, and hopefully we can work our way to the front. The reason that I'm changing it up is because with so many cars and it's going to be so competitive, this is the chance to prove that these old tires are going to be competitive and the catalytic converter we have on the car doesn't really hamper our competitiveness at all. So it should be interesting. We'll see what we can do um, to hop on board with me for one flying qualifying lap. <laughs> just squeezing back to P2 by five one hundredths of a second. It's a really, really good qualifying session. You know, this is our first time out there all year. So we're starting on the front row and it should be a great race in front of about 40 or 50 cars. I'll see you guys in a bit.
you can probably tell by my cherry red face, we just finished race one, uh, and we finally won a race. Uh, so tires had about eight heat cycles on them. That was their eighth, eighth heat cycle, and they were just as competitive as ever. So for people that say there isn't a racing tire that can last a long time, proved you wrong. Someone could do it. Um, so thank you, Toyo, for developing this tire. It is awesome, uh, and we'll keep pushing it and see how many we can do for the rest of the weekend.
just finished race three, had a blast. Uh, we kind of just did lead follow the whole race, but then it really came down to the last lap. Had two gnarly side-by-sides um, with the leader, but couldn't pull it off. We'll try again next time, but that was our 10th heat cycle on the tires. I think we can get one more weekend out of it, maybe two if we're lucky, but we'll find out soon. Next race is in August, so make sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.